What up, world? It's your woman, Butterfly. And her little offspring in the background, Kayla May. Did you say hi, Kayla? And a bunch of puppies. Max, Ruby, and Snowy. Y'all already know Snowy, but now Max and Ruby are here. And they're freaking crazy. Y'all look at these puppies. Oh, my gosh. So much energy. Like, they have more energy than, than actual children. Like, they're all over the place. But they're... They're going to be a part of our family now, so they are here. Okay, so I know y'all was looking for me on Monday, for Man Crush Monday and Wednesday, but I'm going to tell y'all what had happened, right? I'm going to tell y'all what had happened. Okay, on Monday, uh, me and my ex-husband got to a big fight, so I was just mad on Monday, okay? I was mad at all men. I got so mad that I didn't want to have no Man Crush Monday, okay? I had a cup of lemonade like this freaking big, okay? It wasn't even lemonade. It was cherry limeade, Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but I drank it all, and now I'm 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 good now. We cool. Y'all gonna have a man crush Monday this Monday, okay? And on Wednesday, okay, I was supposed to make a woman crush Wednesday, but what had happened was I was driving here to Georgia, and I got freaking arrested, man. It was horrible. Ah, oh, gosh, it was freaking horrible. So I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a special episode on Saturday. And I might make Saturday story time Saturday, okay? Because I see a lot of people doing story time, you know, and I was looking at that and I was like, you know what? I got some stories I could tell y'all, okay? I got some embarrassing stories, some sad stories, some happy stories, some out of this world stories, some things that I know only happened to me and just couldn't happen to nobody else. So I think Saturday might be story time, okay? So I'm going to start off with this Saturday, and I'm going to tell y'all about the time that I went. Matter of fact, I can't tell y'all about the time that I went to jail when I was 16 because the case is actually still open. Okay, so I can't actually talk about everything that happened. But I'm going to tell y'all what it's like to go to jail at such a young age. You know, because we got some people out there that think it's fun. You know, I know they show it on TV. But when I see it on TV, I'm like, they just showing like the... They're not showing all of it, okay? They're not, they're not showing... Like, they're not, all right? I'm going to tell y'all. And it's it's actually different for everyone, but I'm going to tell y'all how it was for me when I went to jail when I was 16, and I didn't get out. It was the first time I ever went to jail. Most of the time when you go to jail, the first time, you sit in the holding cell for a night, and then you go home. Or you stay there for like a day or two, or a week, or 30 days, or whatever, and then you go home, okay? But my monkey behind, me and my freaking luck, I went there. When I was 16, and I didn't get out until I was almost 19 years old. Okay? So, I can tell you in depth, okay, of why jail was so horrible and how it was. Alright? Because I remember it like it was yesterday. Sometimes I still have nightmares about it, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm not in jail. <laughs> Thank the Lord I'm not in jail. <laughs> Okay, it's horrible. Okay, I always cry. I was crying when I got locked up this time, but luckily I was only in there for two days because of some freaking old behind warrants. Oh, it was so horrible. I already for tickets that I already paid. Like, what's wrong with these people? Why are they locking me up for bench warrants for tickets that I already freaking paid? Like, that, it's like the system is such a joke. Even when I was, I'm not saying that's a joke that you should play with now because they'll still lock you up. You see, they got me right. But I'm saying though, like. Even when I was 16 and I got out when I was 18, I was supposed to be on probation. And then, well, I'll tell y'all that after this, okay? Y'all remind me to tell y'all what happened when I was supposed to be on probation, okay? Because it's crazy, all right? But anyway, make, I'm not going to tell y'all what the crime was, all right? But, no, I can tell y'all that. It was armed robbery, okay? And I was uh, being charged as an, a, what do you call it? Accessory, okay? Because I knew about it. All right? Supposedly. Okay? So, that just goes to show that when someone's doing something they ain't supposed to be doing, especially if you're young and you got your life going, get the hell on. Okay? Don't be a part of it. Okay? Because you can get locked up just for knowing about it or supposedly knowing about it or being anywhere around it. They'll lock you up too and charge you just like you did it. Okay? So, please, stop hanging around these dumb people that's doing knucklehead stuff. And don't be a dumb person that's doing knucklehead stuff, okay? Like, come on now, it's your life. Like, you gotta be serious here, okay? So anyway, 
when you get to jail, first of all, when you get to juvenile jail, all right, it's kind of like daycare most of the time. It's, it's, it's nothing like adult jail, okay? You go there, they hold your hand the whole time, okay? They, they make you put on an orange uniform. You know, they let you keep all your stuff. They let your parents come visit you once a week. You know, you go to school. They give you candy. The food is fantastic. You know, you start to get used to it. You know, and me, I was the oldest one there, so it's like, I started to, like, have pool and special treatment. Y'all sit down, y'all watch movies, y'all hold hands. You know, every once in a while, you might get somebody that's extra crazy that's been there a couple of times. You see people that keep coming back, and it's like, they keep coming back because it's nothing to them. They're like, oh, here I am, and Juvie again, oh, it's so great here. But really, you know, even though it's like a big daycare, you're still adding that on to your record in life. You know, then when you get older, you know, when you're trying to get that job that you want, that cool job that you want, that cool career that you want, they're going to look at your record and say, dang, yo, you was in juvie eight times. That ain't cute. We can't hire you. And you're going to be like, no, but I wanted to work at Delta. Or I wanted to work at Sprint. And Sprint going to be like, we don't want you here. No, no, no. We do not want you. You see this? You see this record? Get on. Okay. Go to McDonald's. That's how it's going to be. So racking up all those charges. Misdemeanor charges, fighting in the streets, skipping school, stuff like that. All of that can r rack up on your record and just make you look so bad in the eyes of these employers or even in the eyes of these schools. You know, you you uh, you you got to apply to get into these colleges and stuff. And and that stuff is going to be on your record. And they're going to be like, we don't want you. We do not, we do not, we do not want you. Okay, you see this? We do not want you. All right? Take your ass over there to the community college. We're dumb people at, okay? Even, not to say that. You know what I mean. They're not going to give you the best, okay? I went to community college. That doesn't mean you don't. They're just not going to give you. You can't get the best when you're racking up all that stuff in your records. You're not thinking about it when you're younger. But when you get older, you're going to be like, dang, man, I shouldn't have did that. Dang, I should have took my butt to school. Dang, I shouldn't have fought my grandma. Dang, man, I should have been running through the street naked. What are you doing, okay? Dumb stuff, all right? So that's how it is. In juvie jail, all right? You still cry like a baby because you're still a baby. You want to go home, you know? But what I'm saying is it's not as hard as adult jail, all right? Now, let me tell you what happened, okay? One day, I was sitting in school because you got school in juvenile jail, okay? I was sitting in school, and they called my name. I had been in there for like a year and a half, right? And they called my name, and they told me to pack my clothes, and my birthday had just went by. Okay, so they told me to pack my clothes, and I was like, oh, "Am I going home?" Oh, because I was so freaking happy because I thought I was going home, right? Man, some people put me in the back of a uh, cop car, right? Oh. Oh, and when they put you in the cop car, they put you in the handcuffs, okay? And you think, okay, handcuffs, they ain't there, right? But they put the shackles on your ankles, too, okay? And there's a little metal that keeps scraping against your ankle every time you move, right? Okay? It's horrible, all right? It's awful, all right? You don't want to feel those shackles, all right? You don't want to feel the handcuffs, but the shackles are worse than the handcuffs. So they put the shackles on me. They put the freaking handcuffs on me, right? And I thought maybe I was going to court or I, was, I, know, I just really thought I was going home. But nope. They drove my behind right up to an adult jail. Because my birthday just went by, and I was being charged as an adult. So it was time for me to go to an adult place. All right? Now, when you get to an adult jail, all right, it takes a long time to get you processed in there. You think that everybody's just sitting back there scratching their behind while you're in this cold holding cell. There might be people in there with you. It's y'all. A long, cold bench and a toilet. So if somebody got to take a doo-doo, they're going to take it right in front of you and everybody else. When you have to pee, you have to pee in front of the people that you just met. Okay? And, and, and you don't know if that toilet's going to flush or what. People got to sit there and watch you, wipe yourself. And there's usually people look away, but there's always some kind of creep that's just like... <laughs> no, 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 there's no blinking. It's like... <laughs> and you're like, can I use the bathroom? <laughs> no, not without me looking at you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So that's not cool. 
All right, then they take a long, long, long time to get you processed in there to do all the paperwork. The more of y'all there is, the longer it's going to take. Okay, then they got to change y'all out. Okay, they're going to make you take your weave off. Okay, so uh, and they're going to make you take your weave off. You're going to be looking crazy. All right, and then they're going to walk you past all the dudes and everybody in there. And then all the dudes are knocking on the window laughing at you like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, it's humiliating, okay? But that's not even the most humiliating part. The most humiliating part is when they have to shower you, okay? Because they have to check your body for all the scars and all the lights. I don't know why they don't show this part on TV, okay? Because you going to be butt naked in front of some officer, okay? And the officer, sitting, the officer has to look at you, all right, to make sure you don't have any lights or anything. And even, even, though you, even if you don't have any lights or anything, they're still going to spray you and all your... Uh, private parts with this freaking cold behind spray that that stops you from getting lights. So they got spray your butt crack. They turn around, they spray the front of you, and you sit there like, ah, I can't believe this. This is not a doctor, okay? Somebody that's supposed to be doing this. This is a, a freaking cop. You know what I'm saying? This is something I could have avoided. This is not something that I needed to have done, okay? Oh, and before they do that, they make you squat and cough, squat down on the ground and cough. To make sure there's no, you're not hiding anything inside your body. Because people, be trying to sneak drugs in there, up their bull and up their vagina and all that stuff. So, they, they make you squat and cough just to make sure you don't have anything up there. Alright? So, die and check because they're going to get it. Alright? So, you go through all that. Alright? They might feed you. They might not. You know what I'm saying? You, it's just crazy. Okay? I, I, I guess every jail is different. Recently, when I got, recently... This 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 time when I got locked up for those old tickets or whatever, I went to a jail in a real country behind town, and it was horrible. There was only one cell, and it was like a little room, and there was a toilet that wasn't flush. There was no shower. They bought me some food. It was horrible, and I was like, she was like, you can stay here to your court date, but I need somebody to come get you out. I was like, I can't stay here to court date. You can't stay. okay. So really, every jail is different. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that was the worst one that I've ever been to right there because it didn't have nothing. I was like, how do y'all keep people in here for days with no shower? There was no shower, no nothing, no way to clean yourself. They had me in men's clothes. The the freaking, I mean, I, jail's supposed to be horrible, but this is like, it was a, I guess it was a real poor town. But anyway, another town came and got me and took me to a regular jail. You know, the, the kind of jail that I kind of know already from being locked up when I was younger. Okay? So anyway... After your freaking shower, okay, they take you and well, they actually they, they throw you back in the cell and you wait a little bit longer, okay. Then, then somebody else come and get you and they put all your fingerprints in the system, okay. So now you're in the system, all right. So so your record is going now. Do anything else, it's gonna rack up. It's gonna rack up. It's gonna rack up. And then you're gonna be trying to get a job again and they ain't gonna let you get it because you got all this stupid stuff on your record, especially when it's serious stuff, all right. Then they throw you in the back with all these people when you feel like the new kid in class. You got all these crazy people looking at you. You don't know who did what. You don't know if there's a killer right there. You don't know if there's a murderer. You don't know who's waiting for court. You don't know. You just you just sit there and you that's that's what makes you kind of nervous. You're like, man, I don't know these people. You know, most of the time they're okay, but still, don't go up in there thinking that you have a friend. You know what I'm saying? Because 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 there's people that have been to prison that that just know all kind of tricks and stuff to to start fights with you, especially if you. If you if they know you got a short time, they're gonna get you to come out that room and, and and try to start a fight with you so that you can have a longer time or so that you can be on lockdown the whole time, which you do not want because that'll drive you crazy. Je my point is, jail will drive you crazy. Okay, they put you in that funky you orange uniform and give you some boxers that somebody else don't have in there behind and somebody else don't have in there behind and somebody else don't have in there behind and they give you these freaking nasty socks that somebody else don't have on their feet and somebody else don't have on their feet and somebody else don't have on their feet. And it's just horrible. You run around, you stink, even when you take a shower. They don't give you real deodorant. They give you stink, nasty, fake deodorant. Everything's fake. The soap is fake. The toothpaste is fake. So that's why you stink so bad while you're in jail. It's not cool. It's not cute like how they make it on TV. It's freaking horrible. If you want to see... Now, I've never been to prison. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to go to prison. Ever. Okay? But I know there used to be a TV show called Oz. It doesn't come on anymore. But... Uh, a lot of people say that's exactly how how middle prison is. It's like the real 
jungle. You know what I'm saying? Where people actually kill each other because there's already people when they're doing time for murder. So for them to murder somebody right now is is nothing because they're like, what are they going to do? Put me back in jail? I'm already in prison. I'm already here for life. So I can kill you if I want to. And I'll go in the, I'll go in the hole for like three months and I'll be back out. You know what I'm saying? So why would you want to put yourself in a position where 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 you be around in that environment when you can be out in the free world doing something with your life? You know what I'm saying? So that's how it is to be in jail. That's my story time for Saturday. <laughs> I'll tell y'all, it's freaking horrible. The bed is horrible. It's cold. You know what I'm saying? They wake you up at 5 a.m. for nothing. Like you got a job. You got to stand up so they can count you. Like, I, I, I know there's a, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm probably missing. I'm thinking about when this video is over. But, you know, they got the top bunk and the bottom bunk. And they know how to throw y'all in there. Somebody on the floor, y'all got to use the bathroom in front of each other. Like, it's freaking horrible. There's a bright light shining on you if you're on the top bunk. You never know when it's going to come on. There's always screaming and yelling. Somebody's always yelling and screaming. You got a CO telling you what to do like you're a freaking child. Man, just, just stay free, man. Stay free. I'm actually glad that they kind of got these warrants out of here and got them out of my way. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be driving and, and, and they try to lock me up for something else. And I'm just glad it's all clear now. I'm clear. Crystal clear right now. Nobody's picking me up for nothing. You know what I mean? I hate jail. And you should too. Do you hate jail, Kayla? May? Nope. Ah, I got you. That's because she's never been. Okay, but I'm saying from what I'm t what I'm saying, do you feel like you would ever do anything to go to jail? Because it's all it's all the control is all yours, right? Right now, the control is all yours. And the reason why I say right now is because I know they're gonna start putting these crazy laws into place. You know what I'm saying? That that watch my other channel. But anyway, right now you are in your control of your destiny. Okay, so. Stay out of jail. Go to school. Don't skip school. Because that's called truancy. That's a charge. You know, if you don't know what you can get charged for, look it up. Okay? If you don't know what you can go to jail for, look it up. So you can stay the heck out of there. It's so freaking full in there. You know? It's full of crackheads and crazy people. But there's some people in there that, that, that really don't need to be in there. That's in there for stupid stuff. You know? Oh, I was in there because I punched a cop in the face. And blah, blah, blah. And I'm in there because... Because I was, I was cussing out my teacher and blah, blah, blah. I'm here because I want to be. And I think, I think this is so cool that I'm doing this. No, you're not cool. You're being stupid, okay? With a capital S and a capital, all the letters are capital, okay? Just stay out of jail, kids and grown-ups, all right? <laughs> no, I know I'm not wasting my breath there. I know somebody heard me, all right? But whatever. I love y'all so much, my babies, and I will see y'all on Monday, on Man Crush Monday, and we got, I, I cannot stop calling this girl Caterpillar. We got Kayla May here, that's what she wants to be called, okay? We got her here, so we gonna be doing Teen Tuesday, and we gonna do Women Crush Wednesday, and I'm gonna have a story for y'all on Saturday. I'm gonna look up some editing, and I'm gonna try to make it interesting, because I, I got some stories for y'all. Why <laughs> <laughs> that face though? She was like, I do! <laughs> Okay, so see you on the next episode of the Butterfly Show. Bye.